Today I'm going to demonstrate our reciprocating machine that we're trying to sell. It's a uh, pretty versatile machine, does a lot of shrinking and stretching operations, does some uh, unique bead work. It's a, a really neat machine. As long as you've got uh, some ideas for tooling, you can come up with some really cool stuff for this. What I'm going to demonstrate right now is I'm going to uh, take a piece of sheet steel here. This is about 18 gauge steel. I'm going to run it in the machine here with these shrinking dies, thumbnail shrinking dies, give you a little bit of an idea of what the shrinking capabilities of this thing uh, is. Um, this machine runs on a couple different speeds. I've got it running on about a thousand hits per minute right now. Um, uh, the, the die clearance has to be set before you start this. We usually bring the machine down on bottom and just rough, get a rough idea of where we're at for the thickness of the material that we're going to be running. We don't want to be too tight because that would actually stretch the metal and uh, we're really trying to shrink it here. So let me run this for a little bit and uh, I'll show you what capabilities it has. This machine is uh, an eighth inch fixed stroke. It has a half inch lift on it also so the, the part could be in, inserted at any time and removed. Um, the fine adjustment is on the bottom and like I said we're running just over a thousand hits per minute. So I'm going to run this for a little bit show you what the shrinking capabilities is on the steel. see already the uh, metal starting to pull down around the perimeter there as it starts to do the shrinking. You have to you have to vary your shrinks, some of them deeper into the material than others, and the combination of more shrinking on the edge, a little less as you work inward, will create that crown shape that you're trying to achieve. I'm going to run this a little bit further now. Again, that shows the capabilities of shrinking steel with this machine. Sometimes as the material actually begins to shrink and thicken up, you actually have to back off the pressure slightly on the tooling to allow the metal to continue to shrink. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch out the dies and put the uh, shrink dies in for aluminum, and then I'll uh, do a demo on some sheet aluminum. All right, I've changed the tooling over in the machine now. I've put in our uh, plastic tooling. It's some kind of a hard plastic. I'm not sure exactly what these are made out of, but what they do is they don't mark the aluminum. If you're ever going to build something out of aluminum, it may have to have a polished finish on it. These are pretty handy. The steel dies will shape aluminum, but these ones shape it without marks. Again, we set the uh, the basic gap on here uh, so it, it'll allow the metal to shrink um, and I'm going to run this one feed it in just like I did the steel but you'll see the aluminum uh, moves pretty fast <laughs>
fast that thing will move aluminum. Thumbnail shrinking, pretty effective way of pulling the material down in there. These dies, again, they leave a pretty nice finish on the aluminum. Something that you can planish out pretty quick like and bring back to a polished finish if necessary. Some guys like to actually wet their piece with a little bit of oil just to keep things sliding, but I try to not do that on aluminum because if you have to weld this piece, you really don't want to contaminate it with any oils before you have to weld it. So it's best to do that. And these dies, again, they're kind of slippery plastic. They allow you to shrink aluminum without any kind of lubricants on the metal. All right, what I've done now is I've actually put some different tooling in the machine here. This is a uh, setup for stretching metal. Uh, we, what we've got here is a urethane upper die over a steel lower. These are uh, little tiny inserts with uh, different radiuses on them. Uh, actually, this is a Harbor Freight piece on the bottom here. These are actually uh, planishing hammer dies. But what you're going to see what can happen is uh, when you put aluminum between a hard surface and a soft surface, steel and urethane, it can move metal pretty fast too here. And uh, we'll bring the pressure up on the lower here and we'll drive this right up into the urethane here and you'll see that this thing will, this is the same piece I just did some shrinking on the perimeter. I'm going to do some stretching on the center here and you'll see how fast this thing can stretch out the metal. that'll dome up that metal in a hurry really raises that up and leaves a fairly good finish on it if you have a planishing hammer you can actually smooth that out this can actually be used as a planishing hammer you can put steel on steel here you just really have to watch your pressure then that you don't go back into a, a, a stretching mode but uh, gives you an idea the capabilities of this machine you can move a lot of metal between the stretching and the shrinking capabilities if you've got an English wheel, you can kind of wash all this together and make some really nice contoured shapes. Um, but this machine gives you a lot of versatility, a lot of adjustability, what you can do with it.